Welcome again. You remember last week we had a look at that final response of Jesus to the people who asked, what must we do to do the works that God wants? And Jesus gave the rather surprising answer, what you must do is believe in the one he has sent. And so we looked at the concept of believing. We need to trust, we need to know him, and we need to follow him. And so today what I want to look, I want to continue that and have a look at the last bit, the one he has sent. And I was asking, questioning, why did God send his son? Or alternatively, um, what was Jesus' understanding of his mission? And it's rather like uh, myself, I suppose, and many missionaries, uh, we are sent. And it's really when we get there, we come to discover, discern, and, dis and understand what is our mission. And I've selected three elements of Jesus' mission that I think might help us, and help us in these very difficult times in which we live. And the first one is, Jesus, I believe, came to announce and make present the kingdom of God. To make present the reign, the action, the will of his Father. And to make it present here and now, not up there later. And I think there are four characteristics that we can see in the practice and teaching of Jesus that reveal the kingdom. And the first one, of course, is the compassion of Jesus. And Jesus even encouraged us, be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Another one, of course, is forgiveness. Jesus was always forgiving. I have come not to, rec not to condemn the world, but reconcile it. And he forgave everywhere. And also, Jesus was a healer. And he wasn't a healer just of physical ailments, but he was a healer of spirits and souls and people. And fourthly, was Jesus was inclusive. He shared the table, which was such a sacred and special moment for his culture, the Jewish people. He shared his table with everyone from tax collectors, to fishermen, to Pharisees, to prostitutes. And so those four elements are so crucial and central to Jesus' mission of proclaiming the kingdom with compassion, inclusion, healing, and forgiveness. So that's one. The second one, I believe, Jesus came to tell us who God is. He showed us that God is far more than just the creator, the redeemer, the savior, the, the protector, the defender. He is father, a loving father. Abba was the word Jesus used, which in his language, Aramaic, meant daddy, papa, bab, etc. Yeah. Showing that that is who God is. Our God is a loving God. And also that Jesus is the beloved Son. And if He is the beloved Son, so we in Him also are, to a far lesser degree, but also beloved sons and daughters of God. And the third one, which I think is also very important, Jesus came to show us how to be human. I have come that you might have life and have it to the full. Jesus loved us and taught us how to be fully human. 
you might remember the, the lovely saying from St. Irenaeus, the glory of God is the person fully alive. And so it's in fully being human that we give glory to God. But also if we see Jesus' practice, he came not to be served, but to serve. And the beautiful gesture in the Last Supper, where he, the Lord and Master, washed the feet of his disciples. But also he called his disciples to be friends, no longer servants, but friends. And then again, Jesus gave a summary of the laws and the prophets of his time when he said, love God and love your neighbour. That is how to be fully human. Love God and love your neighbour. And finally, for today's situation, he also said the rather surprising, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. And what a beautiful message that would be for today. If around our world and within our country, we could forgive our enemies and love them. Just on the international scene, the local scene, and even on the family scene. Okay? So that's Jesus, how he understood his mission, I think. Some of the elements, anyhow. To announce the kingdom, to tell us who God is, and to show us how to be fully human. Okay? God bless you. Don't forget our YouTube channel, will you? And God willing, we'll see you next week.